the 5 out motion offense works best against the man-to-man -man defense. But you only need to make slight changes to make it work against the zone defense. In this video I'll show you 3 key principles to destroy any zone defense with a 5 out motion offense. If you want to know more in detail about the 5 out motion offense, check out my other videos. You'll find a link in the description box down below. Let's get into it. The most important strategy against the zone defense is to flash into high post. That's a vulnerable area for a 2-3 zone and a 3-2 zone. The high post is always defended by the middle player. In a 2-3 zone, player number 5 sprints up and in a 3-2 zone, the top defender guards high post rather than the basketball at the top of the key. Of course, you could say we are going straight to a 4-out 1-in motion offense and have one big guy in the key all the time. That makes sense. The advantage of a 5-out setup is that any player can flash into high post from outside. Let's take a closer look. Whenever the ball goes to a wing, the opposite wing flashes into the high post. If a pass is not possible, we have two great options. We can easily continue the offense motion by player number 2 cutting through the key to weak side corner and letting player number 4 fill the open spot on the weak side wing. If defender number 5 sinks under the basket with our high post player, we have a second chance for a flash into high post by player number 4. But my favorite option is the following. The player on high post steps out to set a back screen for player number 1 and pops out afterwards. That creates a huge opportunity when we move the ball to the weak side. Player 1 goes right off the screen and gets defender number 3 to step up by attacking the hoop. 2 on 1 situation, easy bucket. If none of these options come into play, no problem. We are still in our 5 out setup. We swing the basketball and repeat it on the opposite side. Now if a pass to high post is possible, we have multiple opportunities. The first and easiest option is to take the mid-range shot if the defender doesn't come up quickly enough. That happens more often than you think. If the middle defender does come up to defend the shot, we may have another pass to the opposite wing. Player number 4 fills the open spot and is open for a possible 3 if player and ball movement is fast enough. The third option when the ball is on high post comes with a second key strategy against the zone defense. Since another vulnerable area is along the baseline in the dunking area, we want a player to backdoor cut along the baseline and to move right into that dunking area. The combination with a player on high post makes it even more effective. Once our high post player receives the basketball, the player in ball side corner starts to cut underneath and looks for a catch in the dunking area. If the pass is not there, player number 5 moves out to the ball side. The player on the high post passes the ball to the weak side and then cuts through and rotates to the opposite corner. Now we are back in our 5 out setup. The play is not limited to the pass only coming off the high post. We skip pass the ball to the weak side and try another backdoor cut with a pass from the wing. It's amazing how often a slight variation of this play works. When we have the ball on high post and move the ball out to player number 4 who stays in the corner and does not fill the open spot, we'll take defender number 3 out towards the perimeter and create even more space under the basket. Cut from the opposite corner along the baseline, easy bucket. The easiest and most efficient way to play against a zone defense is to score and transition before the defense can get set. Your team is most likely in better physical condition than a team playing zone defense. In one of my last videos I showed how to run a transition offense into a 5 out motion offense. Here is a quick overview. The idea is based on the two side fast break offense. Our point guard comes up aside from the floor. Two players run on the weak side aiming for the position on the wing and the low wing position in the corner. And we have another player on the ball side 
running along the sideline and aiming for the lowing position in the corner on ball side. Player number 5 trails and completes the 5 out motion often setup. Our goal is an early pass at the midline to get behind the defense for a quick hitter or a one on one situation. Those were my three key principles to beat any zone defense with a 5 out motion offense. Don't forget to hit the like button and check out my other videos with more basketball plays and drills. See you next time.